Good morning. Um, I try to, to keep to the high standards set by my colleague, uh, Professor, uh, Professor Bueno, and I'm afraid I, I will not because uh, something I, uh, I have, uh, I, I shall deal with uh, to start with. Uh, that is uh, the conditions that uh, rule the, uh, the research on megaliths in the area uh, I shall uh, speak. Uh, I shall speak uh, about. First of all, uh, a backshot uh, approach. Normally, no uh, no whole cemeteries were uh, investigated. Then, uh, searching for the dolmen, so concentrating on the uh, stone central structures without paying due attention to the rest of the of the monument of the of the mound. Then uh, one problem uh, that still uh, plagues uh, many um, many studies of the of the mounds in this area, just uh, I express it with, the, uh, with this uh, sentence: one mound, one date, which uh, is uh, certainly uh, da a dangerous option. And uh, yes, well, that's a condition <laughs> that has to do with geology mostly. There's uh, no bones. Uh, so we miss uh, a lot of information that, for example, we can gather in uh, other parts of, uh, of Spain. And, um, and as a result, uh, we have uh, somehow monuments that are frozen in, uh, frozen in time, that uh, are set in a, in, a, in a certain period. They don't seem to evolve, to change, in design, in use, along, uh, along the time. I shall uh, point out some, uh, some evidence that could uh, point to the uh, falsehood of this, uh, of this idea. Uh, the area uh, we, are, uh, we are dealing with, this is uh, the autonomous region of Galicia, northern Portugal, and, uh, and Asturias. I must say that I regret very much that uh, Portuguese colleagues uh, Maria Jesus Sanchez and Domingo Cruz are not coming because they have uh, very interesting examples that could um, somehow complement what I'm going to what I'm going to say. Um, mounds. I rather speak of mounds than megaliths. Following in part uh, what uh, Chris said. Uh, at the beginning, uh, tend to cluster in the flattened uh, tops of uh, medium, high, uh, medium high sierras, although uh, they are occasionally found in, uh, in, lower, uh, in lower zones. Mm -hmm. For example, the circles correspond, uh, correspond to mounds, particularly <coughs> striking in that, uh, in that example where the mounds follow, are following the uh, range and avoiding almost completely the uh, valley that is, uh, that is below. Um, beyond this uh, preference that, uh, for these flattened, uh, flattened tops of, uh, of, range, of ranges, uh, that has been uh, attributed to to perhaps to an earlier settlement of these areas because of the lighter soils, less, uh, less vegetation, and so on. Uh, we can uh, point out the possibility of uh, the existence of a conception of a landscape, a sacred uh, landscape that is used along a certain time. Uh, one of the examples comes from the from North Studios, the area of uh, Peña Tu, where we have a flattened, uh, a flattened sierra that goes parallel to the, to the coast uh, and uh, is separated by a gorge that is, uh, that is in here. <coughs> we see another view. And uh, the eastern half of, the, uh, of, that, uh, of that sierra has a huge number of uh, mounds, uh, 52 in all, whereas the uh, western half of the, of the Sierra is uh, completely uh, devoid of those. Uh, a fellow colleague from the University of uh, Oviedo, Professor uh, de Blas, has pointed out 
towards the importance of uh, Peña Tour, uh, located in this, uh, in this area. Uh, that would explain Professor de Blas precisely by some of the mounds in this, uh, in this uh, necropolis. That uh, would explain uh, perhaps this uh, preference for, the, uh, for this area. Peña Tour is a peculiar rock uh, formation. It has a somorphic, uh, uh, somorphic shape and is uh, looking into this, uh, this area and marks the western uh, extreme of this, uh, of this area. This is the, this rock formation and uh, shows um, both a, a schematic and uh, a paintings and carvings that possibly span the Neolithic and the, and the Copper Age. That, um, that's, that, one, that is one of the most uh, famous uh, motifs. And uh, no, not many uh, digs have, uh, have been done in here, but uh, uh, one uh, mound uh, was dug and suggested that uh, at least has uh, two moments of use, precisely in the Neolithic and uh, the Copper Age. You go to another place, that's in, that's in Galicia. It, we have this, uh, this area uh, with, a blue, uh, with a blue circle that um, shows uh, a long-standing uh, occupation or use by the mound builders running from the last third of the fifth millennium along the, uh, the third millennium and even uh, reaching the middle, uh, the middle Bronze Age. Another, uh, another example, again uh, in a high area, where we have number one mound <coughs> with two periods, but starting in the fifth millennium, uh, number two mound uh, belonging to the first half of the fourth millennium, and number five uh, mound that uh, goes uh, into, the, uh, into the third millennium. Um, so uh, there, are, uh, there are hints that uh, the certain areas were preferred or were uh, consag consagrated, perhaps by strange rock formations, like, uh, like the case of Peñatur, or for other reasons we have not uh, discovered, uh, discovered yet. But we could be before a notion of a megalithic landscape that is kept sometimes uh, for up to 3,000 uh, 3, years. Um, I, uh, uh, point, uh, I set a question mark, uh, megalithic blueprints. Um, could it be that uh, in some cases megaliths are, uh, are thought in advance and then are, uh, are not built? In, uh, in one episode, but perhaps in more than one, sometimes uh, with a certain uh, time span, uh, time span uh, in between. Uh, we have uh, one case that is only partially published, that is um, something that uh, affects very much the, the research in the, north, uh, in the Northwest, uh, where uh, we have a circular, uh, a circular trench at a certain, uh, at a certain point we have here the circular trench. At a certain point, a platform, an earth, earthen platform is set, and then uh, a chamber, and a first mound is built. That doesn't really reach to the outer uh, periphery of this uh, platform. And only on, on a second moment, perhaps in this case not much uh, separated in time, uh, is uh, as a contumulus is, uh, is built. Perhaps the most uh, famous case, suggesting that, uh, that even uh, in, in, in a number of examples we, we, uh, we can see a sort of biological growth of the, of the mounds from single, uh, single chambers and small mounds towards uh, uh, being integrated in uh, larger mounds containing uh, larger chambers is the uh, Dombate. Yeah? Uh, topography suggested that here 
before uh, the archaeological works, topography already su suggested that something happened there. Hmm? And then, uh, effectively, the uh, excavation already in the first campaign uh, showed that uh, there was a smaller chamber beside the known passage grave of uh, Don Bate. Here we have the last uh, stage of the, uh, of the excavation after the cleaning and the excavation of the surroundings. And uh, here we have a good collection of uh, radiocarbon dates and very consistent, uh, indeed, with uh, stratigraphy. That suggests that uh, sometime we don't have a, a date for that. That's why the question mark. Uh, sometime in the last third of the fifth millennium, a small mound with a single chamber was built. And, uh, and then, uh, possibly around this, uh, this time, uh, another, uh, another mound started to be built side by side, mm -hmm. leading to the construction of the passage grave that, and then the mound uh, of the, that passage grave uh, included and covered the, uh, the earlier mound. I said that the, perhaps there is a, a trend of the, uh, biological, so to, so to speak, growth be, uh, of uh, some mounds because uh, we know uh, several other examples. This is Forno dos Mouros uh, 5, where again uh, we have a, a small chamber, and then sometime before uh, the last uh, century of the fourth millennium, a larger chamber not preserved, the, there were only the stone bedding uh, to, be, uh, to be observed, is built, and then the mound uh, again uh, finished by covering. The, uh, the smaller early amount uh, containing the, uh, that single chamber. And uh, perhaps Maria Jesus Sanchez would speak about that. I don't know, but uh, I just wanted to mention it because it's very much il illustrated very, uh, very well uh, this case, this particular case. That's Mamo da Cucinha in northern, uh, in northern Portugal, where again we have a small, uh, a small chamber. This is unpublished. Um, and then uh, beside uh, a passage grave uh, is built. Yeah, here you have no, no, not many data are available about that, but uh, it's very possible that uh, we are uh, with a, uh, before a sequence uh, similar to that of Dombate or uh, Forno dos Moros. And well, still to be uh, to be researched. Uh, the passage grave again. Here is the passage of uh, Aceitos, one of the mo most uh, renowned uh, examples of uh, Galicia. And then, uh, well, there is this slab here. Hmm? Uh, a, geophysics, uh, a geophysics survey. Uh, well, we had the idea that maybe we could be before a, 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 an early amount in there. And a geophysics survey was, uh, was done suggesting some anomalies that uh, would be the place where the slab is and the, uh, and, uh, the possible periphery of this, uh, of, this early, uh, uh, of this early amount. So maybe after all, the, uh, the people had some, uh, some blueprints or some, uh, or some paths that in certain cases the monument should follow. Hmm? Uh, as suggested by these examples I've just shown. Um, going to the most known design in, uh, in Western uh, Europe, uh, Megalithismus, uh, the, uh, the passage grave is very well represented in the, in the Northwest. Here we have a kind of typical uh, uh, passage grave. Um, yet, in, the, in, in, in spite of being so international or so trans-European, eh, this, uh, this design, we might find uh, some peculiarity, uh, suggesting even regional designs, difference, the differences that uh, may be discerned uh, within the, uh, the Northwest. We have here, for example, two different uh, plans of uh, uh, passage graves with uh, differences in, in the shape of the, uh, of, the, of the chamber, the relationship between the chamber and the, and the passage. 
Hmm? That I would like to point out to, the, to this, uh, this model. We, we call it the seven slabs, uh, the seven slab chamber model. Uh, this is uh, again the Dombate, of what uh, I, already, uh, I already told. And uh, there we are. We have this seven uh, slab design, which is not, uh, which is not uh, universal in the Northwest. Uh, I must stress that in a series, in a series of examples. The interesting uh, thing is that uh, uh, at least in, uh, uh, a big part of these are contemporary, are coeval. And not only that, but um, they are clustering in the uh, western part of uh, Galicia, although there are some outliers too. We are not talking about laws. We are talking about culture and people that takes uh, decisions and, nego and negotiates. And uh, in fact, we, are, uh, uh, we have this example here in this very area where uh, this design of passage grave is clustering in this particular uh, time, which is uh, Pedra Moura de Monte Carneo, has just uh, six slabs. Yeah, it, goes, uh, it refuses or not, doesn't follow the, the, the model of Dombate, but uh, the, chronology, the chronology that uh, was obtained from the paintings, but the, mm, paintings uh, and, the, and the construction of, uh, of the passage graves are very, uh, are very close together. We may assume that the, the period of constitution is about that. Yeah? And uh, in spite of, uh, of being the same, in this same area, uh, we have uh, different designs. So, uh, really, uh, we are before, uh, before local, uh, local variations of a uh, very international, very trans-European design, even at, at a regional scale, uh, as uh, it happens with the, no with the Northwest. Um, also, against that idea that, uh, the, that was prevalent for many years, that uh, monuments were, as I said, kind of frozen in time, and with perhaps an eventual secondary reuse in, in later times, but fundamentally built, done, designed in a, in a very uh, uh, close time. Um, we, we beg to disagree uh, with that idea, and in fact, we might say we might, uh, we might say that um, there are several uh, possibilities. There are effectively monuments that uh, doesn't seem to, uh, to show any, uh, any change, that uh, they seem very restricted in time. They could be even individual in use, no bones, as, as I told you. <laughs> we cannot really be sure about that. That would be uh, the cases of Jaguna uh, uh, A in, in Asturias or Jaguna uh, D. Both in the uh, in the hinge between the uh, the fifth and the fourth millennium Cal uh, Cal BC, and with uh, materials microliths, uh, micro access that are very typical of this uh, of these earlier stages of the regional uh, megali uh, megalithismus. Uh, in other case, this is a late uh, uh, this is a late example. Wouldn't be megalithic, strictly speaking. Uh, in Reboredo one from, for the, uh, from the second half of the, of the third millennium, where uh, um, a pit with a, with a vertical slab uh, was, uh, was built and immediately covered. No, not, not a great complication, not an interesting story, we might say, uh, around these uh, uh, examples. Um, Coming back to, to, uh, to a case that I mentioned before, this, uh, this is uh, Chosa uh, Nova. Mm -hmm. uh, though there are two uh, faces in the, uh, in the building of the mound, there is a first mound and then a second, uh, a second mound that covers completely uh, the, the platform that, uh, that was set, uh, doesn't seem uh, to have any, uh, any change in, in use. Uh, except that uh, the, the capstone uh, of, this, uh, of this chamber founder uh, broke and, and, and fell in, uh, inside. Perhaps because of that, uh, they, uh, 
so because we are before an accident of, uh, of construction, they decide to, uh, to forget about it, uh, and they uh, raise uh, the, the tumulus and, um, and, and, and leave it at that. Here we have a detail of the, of the chamber. And um, the, uh, the situation, uh, the number of, and, the, and the placing of the grave goods might suggest that at least the last use was, uh, was an individual one. Yeah? So, as I said, no bones. This uh, would correspond to very sheet uh, beds and amber beds mm -hmm. that are still keeping the shape of a necklace. And uh, a few, uh, here we have the necklace and a reconstruction of uh, obviously the, the gender is absolutely hypothetical. Uh, <clears throat> again, uh, then we, we could, uh, I go back to the, to the example I, sh uh, I showed before, the, the Dombate. We have monuments that are somehow more dynamic, have a more complicated story. I, I explained already Dombate. We have uh, here another example. It's not exactly a, a passage grave. It's, uh, it has a dry stone, uh, a dry stone wall. Here, uh, basically, along um, a thousand years, we see uh, changes in the, in the shape and the height of the, of the mound. Here, the, the mound, more than a structural uh, role, seems to, to, uh, um, to play a function as, uh, of uh, closing down. In, in this case, for example, the dry, uh, the dry stone wall. Uh, leading into the leading into the chamber and a final uh, secluding of the of the, of, uh, the monument uh, with a rising of the uh, of the mount. And this is an interesting example, unfortunately absolutely unpublished and no uh, and no dates, but uh, on typological grounds uh, and uh, on uh, stratigraphic preliminary stratigraphic observations published by the by the diggers. Uh, we, we could uh, be before uh, a cell-like growth, like a mitosis, we, we, we could say. We have a long, uh, we have a fairly large uh, uh, mound, very badly preserved. It had a, a chamber much disturbed and a dry, uh, a dry stone wall, not a properly passage, uh, leading to the periphery. At a certain point, uh, this, uh, this structure is condemned, is covered with uh, stones and, uh, uh, and earth. And then uh, a kind of uh, pseudopod here is, uh, is built, and then a smaller, a smaller mound is, uh, is built. Uh, th that's why I say, well, I like a um, cell-like uh, growth, like a process of mitosis, you know, the reproduction of uh, certain type, types of, uh, of cells. Hmm? Um, we can assist also uh, complicated processes uh, that are uh, sometimes we could call them deconstructive. Yeah? This could be the case of Cotogrande V. At a certain point, around or slightly before yeah? uh, 3100 Cal, uh, Cal BC, um, um, a pit covered with a, uh, with a horizontal slab was, uh, was, uh, was built. And um, that would be A1. A1. Then, uh, then a, a, small, uh, a small chamber with uh, stone uprights uh, was built uh, to, the, uh, to the side, but this is not at a certain point, uh, around the first uh, half of the third millennium. This is removed, and the slabs are deposited here uh, together with uh, practically uh, all, the, all the materials. And uh, um, on a third uh, end, that would be phase B, and on a third stage, the, uh, a, um, a larger uh, chamber is, uh, is built. Yeah? We have here a detail that would, be, that would respond to the destruction. This would be the, the last chamber, very much disturbed. Right? in modern times, and this would be here, the, uh, we would have 
the, uh, these smaller slabs uh, with a uh, bell beaker, among other, uh, among other materials. <coughs> Another very clear the, uh, the constructive episode, we have um, from the early fourth millennium, uh, pseudo chamber, it's not properly a closed uh, chamber, that um, in, a, in later time, in the, in the second millennium, is almost uh, uh, completely removed. Uh, two slabs are, uh, are uh, well, one is kept, one is added, and then uh, a pit uh, where possibly there were, uh, there were depositions, but um, no, uh, no remains where uh, no human remains could be, uh, could be recovered. Well, uh, to finish up, um, we are dealing here with, uh, with a phenomenon that is widely spread. This is just one province of, uh, of uh, Galicia, and you may see the sheer numbers of uh, barrels that were found uh, in this uh, small area, of, uh, about uh, 4,500 square uh, kilometers. And also, this is a, this is a phenomenon that uh, is, um, I, I insist, mound phenomenon, not just uh, megalithic, uh, that it extends basically from the second half of the, uh, of the fifth millennium to the, the second half of the, of the second millennium uh, Calvis BC. Uh, as to the dates that are around the 1000 BC, uh, they would be more secondary reuses, more than properly constructive episodes. Um, so, uh, within this, uh, this phenomenon expanding, uh, uh, spanning uh, 3,000 years, we can uh, possibly find out uh, very different uses, very different intentions, and very different uh, designs. We have a problem yet in, uh, beyond those that I, I said in my, in, in my foreword. We, we have a problem in the, in the Northwest, is that uh, unlike in other, in other European regions, uh, the earlier, uh, the ancient Galicians and their neighbors in Asturias or northern Portugal uh, insisted in always building uh, circular mounds, circular barrows. For 3,000 years, they did but circular barrows. No long mounds, no uh, um, al alignments of main ears, just uh, circular barrows. So one wonders if they purposely where he were hiding the variety of solutions, the variety of chambers, the variety of uh, designs uh, within this uniform, uh, this uniforming cover, and that's why. Um, uh, so here we have an example: this this always circular design or in section hemispheric. That seems very well. No matter that you are dealing with a 2000, uh, 2000 BC or, or a 4000 BC monument, uh, it's always the same, apparently boring design, but it's hiding a lot of uh, a lot of things uh, behind. And um, yeah, what lies beneath? I think uh, a lot of research uh, still is needed. As I said, uh, uh, we have a serious problem of uh, un, uh, unpublished, uh, unpublished uh, excavations and uh, still few a uh, few radiometric dates. So uh, I, but uh, I believe that uh, we have some hints that uh, allow us to hypothesize, uh, hypothesize uh, about uh, significant uh, change, changes in designs, even regional, uh, local uh, shifts uh, in design uh, within this apparently homogeneous uh, phenomenon, which is the Northwest uh, Iberian uh, megalithism. Uh, thank you very much, and very sorry for my broken English, probably. Thank you.